Hey guys, my name's Ben from Ben's Guide and thanks for joining me on the video today. I'm gonna to be sharing with you today five reasons why I think the Canon R6 may be a better buy for some of you than the Canon R5. Let's jump into it. So if you don't know already, the EOS R6 is going to cost around about $2,499. And that's a lot of money. That's not just spare change. But if you then take your focus to the EOS R5, the price jumps up considerably. You're looking then at around about $3,899. That's a lot of money. And not all of us have that much money lying around. And in fact, if I was to spend that much money on a camera, my wife, well, she'd probably castrate me. Going from that fact on the US R5, if you wanna shoot 8K video, which seems to be everyone's pull towards this camera, then you do know that you have to use a CF Express card. And if you wanna shoot around about 50 minutes of 8K video, that's gonna be one terabyte on a CF Express card. Price-wise, this is gonna cost you nearly a thousand pound extra. So already you'll pay nearly £4,000 for the R5, you could be spending nearly £5,000, which would mean at that point my wife would also remove my arms. You're able to quickly see that the Canon EOS R6 on the price point side of things is definitely more attractive with its lower price. You'll be paying $1,400 at least less and obviously if you're looking at CF Express cards for 8K video, then you could be paying up to over £2,000 less on this setup. Lower resolution on a camera sensor usually means that you're going to get better low light performance. So the R6 has a 20 megapixel sensor versus the R5, which has a 45 megapixel sensor. This is going to equate to better low light performance in the Canon R6. And this is a big deal. You're gonna get uh, less noise and less grain showing up when you're using those higher ISOs in these low light conditions. And there's quite a few videographers and photographers which need to shoot in these conditions and don't necessarily have external lighting. So this is quite a big deal considering the R5 is considerably more money that you're actually gonna get better low light performance with the Canon R6. Both cameras are fantastically fast. And when I say that, I really mean it. You get 12 frames per second mechanical for both the R5 and R6, and also the same for the electronic, which is 20 frames per second. This is brilliant news. And they're identical in this way. But did you know that there is a big difference between the two cameras in this respect? You see, having a smaller sensor at 20 frames per second in the R6, it means that you're going to be able to shoot more JPEGs and more raw photos than you will do with the R5 before you have to clear your buffer. Now this is brilliant. I think you're gonna be able to fire about a thousand photos, thousand JPEG photos off without clearing your buffer and you can do about 240 raw photos. This is three times more than the R5. Once again, you're paying less money and getting a better performance when it comes to continuous shooting speeds, which may be the same, but you won't have to clear your buffer as quick as you will do with the R5. This is gonna be brilliant news also for people like wildlife photographers and sports photographers. At this point, guys, I really wanna hear which camera you're considering buying. Are you gonna go for the R6 or have you got your mind set on the R5? And please tell me why it is that you've chose the camera that you've chose. Let me know in the comments below and we can get into this after the video. Both cameras feature a brand new battery and this is the LP E6NH. This is gonna feature around about 15% greater capacity than the original LP E6N. It's also gonna be backwards compatible with any camera that accepts this LP E6 family of batteries already. 
so you can use it with any of your other cameras as well. But there is a big difference between the R6 and the R5 when it comes to the capacity, the amount of photos that they're able to shoot off. You see, the R6 is going to have less processing power that it needs to deal with. And this means, good news, it's going to be able to take more photos in both LCD and also through the EVF. These are the numbers here that you're going to be looking at. The EOS R5 is going to shoot 120 frames per second through the EVF at 220 shots. When it's 60 frames per second, you'll get 320 shots. Whereas the LCD standard, you'll get 320, and the LCD power save, you'll get up to 490 shots. The EOS R6, with its less processing power, is going to do better than this. With the EVF at 120 frames per second, you get 250 shots, and 60 frames per second, 380. Whereas your LCD standard is 350 shots, and then you can bump this up in power save mode to 510 shots. Another plus for the camera, which is priced $1,499 less. Okay, so in this video so far, anyone that's decided on the Canon EOS R5 as they're going to buy camera, you might be thinking, I've been a little bit cruel on this camera and I should really mention some of the pluses. Well, this is true. See, you're gonna get 8K video, which you're not gonna get on the EOS R6. You're also gonna get 4K at 120 frames per second, where this is only 60 frames per second on the R6. And you get a very slight crop where it's full sensor on the R5. You're also gonna get a top-down screen, which you won't get. You'll only get the mode dial on the R6. And to add to that, you're also going to get a 45 megapixel sensor, which for photography is going to be sharper and it won't be as soft when you're taking photos. So the Canon EOS R5 does have obviously some extra features which have determined the extra price that you would pay if you were to buy that camera. But honestly guys, apart from a few extra features, the cameras are actually very similar and almost identical. So you've got to decide at this point, do you need the extras like 8K video and 120 frames per second 4K, or is 60 frames per second 4K gonna be good enough? which to be honest with you, going back about a year ago, is what everyone dreamed of on a Canon camera. And now you have it in the shape of the Canon EOS R6. So I hope you've enjoyed this fun video today, guys, sharing with you the five reasons why you might consider buying the Canon EOS R6 instead. I think what I wanna end this video on is to let you know that whichever camera it is that you decide on going for, the R5 or the R6, both cameras look at being absolutely amazing. And I think you're making a great choice whichever way you go. Remember guys, if you haven't already, hit subscribe and the notification bell so that you can watch more videos uh, from the channel here at Ben's Guide. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.